she lives. Now guys, today we're gonna be working on my grandpa's truck. This is gonna be day one of working on the 5.9 gasser. And uh, I'm hoping things go smooth, but you know how that goes. It's one of those things you think it's gonna go super smooth. I'm gonna have all the right tools this time. I'm gonna have all the right PB Blast and WD-40 and all the right amount of that stuff to make sure everything breaks free. And I'm gonna have my Milwaukee impact gun. I'm gonna have an air gun as a backup. I'm gonna have everything I think I'm gonna need as luck or unluckiness, I guess would have it. You'll be bound to run into something. I'm hoping that's not the case, but it always seems to be. So we're gonna get the truck pulled over to the barn though. I'm gonna test all of my sockets and all the tools that I think I'm gonna need with everything that I can reach under the front end that I'm gonna have to take off today. Just before I run into town to go to the auto parts store, I'm gonna make sure I first off have all the right sockets because I'm gonna need a couple 12 points. I'm gonna need a one and three quarter inch. I'm gonna need a one and an eighth inch. I'm gonna need some other stuff. Uh, and then I'm just gonna make sure that I think I have all the right stuff and then whatever I don't have that I need I'm gonna make sure I pick that up so let's get pulled over to the barn and make sure we get a parts list of what we do and don't have so I was gonna actually run to AutoZone in Napa before I got started so I could just have all my parts here before I get started but I think what I actually want to do is get the front end jacked up get the wheel off and start to disassemble a little bit so I can see what I'm dealing with by the time I get to actually having to remove the hub and a couple of the other small things that I'm gonna need other sockets for that I already know, but I can start beginning the wheel off and getting a good look at things and at least getting a little bit of progress so I know just in case um, I'm missing something, I know what else I need to grab before I go to the store and then come back before I tear into anything and then I might be running back and forth anyway. So let's get started on it right now. So the goal today is gonna be replacing the front wheel bearing and ball joints at least on this side I don't know for sure how amazingly smooth or how amazingly difficult this is going to be. I know the ball joints you're going to need to press and some sledgehammer action um, for breaking some things loose and stuff like that. But hopefully with the ball joint press that I'm picking up today, hopefully that'll help that go a lot smoother. But for starts, we can get the front wheel cap popped off so we can pop off the lug nuts, get the caliper loosened and popped off there, get the rotor off and stuff like that. And hopefully then... Uh, we can at least get to where we need to get the other parts for so we can, because if we can make it to that point, then I'll at least know, okay, we do or don't need anything else. Um, but I have a list already, but I just wanna make sure everything else comes off smooth first. <laughs> okay, so I found out what they did. Apparently they just took off the rotor, caliper, and wheel bearing to get to the U-joints. And they said they put new U-joints on it. And if that's actually true or not, I don't know. But it does have, let's have a brand new cotter pin here. And this kind of looks shiny in there behind there where that wheel bearing is. So I'm guessing that might be true that they did just replace the u-joints and they just had to take this all off to get to it and that's probably why that you know it's probably why that looks cotter pin looks shiny and back in there looks clean so anyways um that's that so we're going to continue taking apart what we can and see where we get <laughs> So we have gotten a little bit of information here that we might be able to use. So turns out the ball joints are bad. Upper and lowers are shot. You can actually, if you uh, get the right motion here, you can actually, you can actually slide it up and down right there, see? And the whole stud moves in and out in and out in and out top and bottom so i've got one lower and two upper ball joints the other lower i'm gonna have to pick up tomorrow so for today we're probably only gonna be able to get this side done hope i mean hope fingers crossed and then i also got a new wheel bearing for this side because i'm already gonna have to remove it anyway so i just thought what the heck let's take it apart and if we're gonna take it apart, put a new wheel bearing on anyways. I also bought 
a one and three quarter inch one of these dudes here and then i've also got a 12.14 millimeter because i believe that's what i need for these dudes back here so let's get to it and see what kind of progress we can get This is the old wheel bearing. I don't know if it's su supposed to have clinging sounds inside of it. Hear that? <laughs> Listen to it. I don't think it's supposed to do that. So old wheel bearing is going. I'm hoping that it won't be too terrible to do these ball joints at the same time while we're in here already. I'd hate to do the same jump twice. So let's get to that. Just to show you what we're dealing with here. In the bottom. I mean, there's nothing there. There's no resistance. I mean, it is just... I mean, that just fell off. <laughs> I mean, it, it is just totally, totally toast. So that's what we're working with. Now this year is supposed to be a tool to help extract these old ball joints and seat the new one. So we'll see how this goes. So my phone keeps dying on me, unfortunately, over and over again. I have it plugged in and the outlet stops working. So it's it's not been not been my friend today, but we do have the upper ball joint installed and the lower ball joint installed. They also have their grease zerks installed. So we're gonna get ready to clean up this area a little bit around there. And then we're gonna be putting this back in position. And then we're gonna be installing our new front wheel bearing. So new ball joints are in. This is installed, cotter pins are in, top and bottom. Um, now we're gonna be installing the old axle shaft is gonna go back in there and then the wheel bearing. So I'm gonna set the camera up and hopefully it doesn't die. Well, we did it and hopefully we did it right. So new wheel bearings on. New cotter pin there, new upper ball joint, lower ball joint, new cotter pins. And yes, it does still freely move. Little resistance, but not much. I mean, you don't want it to be like, you know, just completely loosey-goosey flopping everywhere like that. But, but yeah, so it's uh should be good. But I don't know if I'm gonna do much more on this today because I'd like to get the tie rod replaced and the tie rod ends and all that stuff in the sleeve. So I don't think I'm going to do any further today because I don't have any of that stuff on me. And I don't want to just like put it back together and then put the wheel on then tomorrow I'll take it right back off. So um, for now, this is where we're going to end on it. I wish I would have got more step by step, but my phone kept dying on me. I had a charger out here. I tried to have it plugged in and recording and then I thought it was going. And then there were times I'd look over and my phone is completely dead and the wall stopped putting out electric for the outlet. And so then I had to go to a different outlet and then charge it up. And then while it's charging, I'm still working. So I couldn't be filming, going back and forth. So. I tried to do the best that I could for video, but it was just, it was not going my way today in terms of video, but the rest of it couldn't have gone better. It could have gotten a lot worse though. Um, so I'm happy with that. And on that note, I'm going to wrap it up for today in terms of working on the truck. I've been out there for, man, I wanna say between coming out here and initially starting, running into town, grabbing parts, coming back, you know, all that included, I've probably been working on it for five hours, uh, but probably three hours of that has been actually like dismantling and reinstalling some stuff. Um, but this is also my first time ever doing it. So you guys can do it. Uh, the parts to do 
upper and lower ball joints on both sides and wheel bearings on both sides plus a ball joint um, press kit total was about 750 bucks for all that stuff but i mean this is a job that you know you're going to take it to a shop and they're going to charge you 100 bucks an hour it's going to they're going to say oh two thousand bucks you know so take it for what it is you know some people it's worth it some people it's not ordinarily i would just drop it off at the shop and do it but i thought hey what the heck let's just try to do it if it works cool if it doesn't work i have a trailer i can just haul it over there and pay them to do it anyway so i thought what the heck what do i have to lose let's just try it and i'm actually kind of kind of surprised by myself i got a little bit more done than i thought i'd be able to and essentially guys as you would know i mean that's kind of how you learn that's the only way you're going to learn is if you attempt and either figure it out or you don't but regardless you at least took the effort to try and that's how you learn so i'm pretty happy with that progress for today because um we got done a good portion of that and other than doing the tie rod in and stuff and then the other side in terms of ball joints and wheel bearing all that jazz i mean we're making some progress because if i can get the other side done tomorrow and tie rod ends done tomorrow and the tie rod and everything then at least the front end as far as i know i'm also going to do the sway bar links because they're pretty the bushings are completely sh completely shot and they're cheap to replace anyway so might as well just do it the front end should be solid then and completely good to go i did actually find a receipt in the truck that said it was from a repair shop and uh it said repair repair for larry finley which is my grandfather that's who um that's whose truck it was I, call, I could not read the guy's handwriting on it. It was just complete chicken scratch. So my handwriting is not much better, but I was like, okay, uh, it's one of these types of guys. So I'm going to have to call him and actually see if he has a record of what he did. So I called the guy and said, hey, I'm working on this truck. It's my grandfather's truck. It says that you did some work this time last year. What did you do? And so I was talking to him and he said that they did new U joints on the axle shaft. So they did new U-joints on the axle shafts on both sides in the front end. So that's good to know because I was wondering about that. I'm like, I do not want to do this and then it needs U-joints. I have to take it all back apart. So that was good to know. Um, so between the ball joints and wheel bearings and tie rod, and tie rod ends and whatnot, this front end should be in pretty darn good shape when we're done with it. But before I leave guys, don't forget that you can enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. And all you got to do is go to LMP Gear dot com and every one dollar you spend is going to get you 15 entries only until friday so you guys have i think 48 hours left and then 15x is gone it's going back to one act and remember if you get a monthly mystery box you always get 20x entries because you guys also get products that are completely unreleased that nobody has seen in the store which is also a huge benefit because you get some of the coolest stuff and your odds of winning one of these trucks is so much greater than most of you guys realize so just always remember that thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed it get those entries in while you can and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace